We're now going to look at additional marketing support that you can get from Weebly and that comes at an additional cost. So one of the reasons that I mentioned in this course that you might want to use a third party email provider is that you can get some pretty powerful um, software from third parties for free, which would enable you to use that with your subscribers to good effect. Um, if you decide you want to do a lot of emails for your store, then it might make sense to link in the Weebly marketing options because then they will seamlessly integrate with your store. You can integrate your store and your website with, um, for instance, MailChimp, but you would need more IT knowledge in order to do that. So you'd need to employ someone maybe on, on Fiverr or something like that in order to get somebody to set that up for you. Um, but alternatively, you can use the Weebly uh, packaged marketing options, which I'm going to just briefly talk you through now. So first of all, we've talked, we've looked at this, you, you get to your uh, email and correspondence. And as you can see, you've got a variety of different email names all set up already. So order confirmation, order prepared or item shipped item refunded, which details how much of a refund, whether it's a partial or a total refund was made um, and items cancelled. So if you cancel an order because you're out of stock or something like that. So those are included in any of your stores where you have a shop. So you are able to send those. You, you just go to your dashboard, you issue a refund and email is automatically, you get, a, you get an option for the email to be automatically sent to your customer telling them that they should expect a refund. So all of that stuff is done. The order confirmation is done. All of that stuff will be done and you can edit those um, emails. Anything which has got a flash by it requires um, an upgrade for a premium, uh, for a premium service. So um, you can edit any of these. So you go across to the right hand side, click and edit email and you see what's there as a standard, which is obviously unbranded. And that has the order number, the date, visa details, the delivery details, if it's a physical item. Um, everything is there already. Um, and you can edit that if you would like to, uh, and you can brand it up. So that can all be done um, on the on the website. Um, then you've got settings underneath. So the settings relate to the shop as well. Um, and they are um, obviously um, editable in terms of adding your currency and also um, the other store, store details. Um, under email, we've then got a variety of other emails. So specific holiday emails. So you, uh, there might be... Um, um, uh, January the 1st, you know, you might have a January sales day, um, or Easter or any, any particular holiday that you decide if you're a Valentine's day, if you're a flower shop, for example, you might send out, um, an email campaign a week or so before. So that can also be sent out those sort of emails. If they come from Weebly, you will need to pay extra for, and they come through the Weebly marketing, um, options. You've got a whole variety of layouts to choose from, or you can just design from scratch. So you have um, whichever, and, and they're designed in the same way that the Weebly site is. So you drag and drop into it any uh, information that you would like to drag and drop in. So if we do decide to upgrade, as you can see here, we've got, um, unfortunately more money required. So there's the build or grow plan uh, or the accelerate plan. And those three plans give you more bang for your buck, basically. Uh, and they are payable on addition to your web hosting. So your web hosting and web building subscription are one thing, and then your marketing is another. Um, you might find, if your business can justify it, that incorporating the Weebly marketing is going to be more seamless and easier to do, and it's going to be easier for you to run. But if you're starting a business and you don't want to commit to this sort of expenditure, then you might prefer to go down the route of um, a third party email provider or lead generation provider that will provide you with free or limited cost service for a period of time. You just need to make sure that one way or another, you can get your store and your orders and your checkout linked in to your, and your, your database, your subscriptions and everything else linked into that mail 
um, mail provider. And that's why I say with MailChimp, you can, um, you can actually design a database for your customers with MailChimp, create a widget, which you then embed into your Weebly website using the embed code. And without even knowing it, your customers are filling in a form which reports to MailChimp and adds MailChimp, adds their details to MailChimp and MailChimp then manage that data. So that might be a more sophisticated way of dealing with it. Um, but if you decide to go down the upgrade view, then you can do that as well. And the plans are available for you to look at. Uh, you can buy by the month or you can buy by the year. Um, you can look at the plans and compare the plans here. I'll put a link in the description so that you can see what's offered for, um, for each um, particular plan holder. Um, so have a look at the details, have a look at the number of emails you think you're likely to send and the number of people on your email list. Uh, bear in mind that spam might add people that are not really people and therefore cost you money. So just be aware of that and see whether that might be something that's of use. If not, consider an alternative third party option. So that is uh, how you can use marketing and you can um, um, automate marketing quite, in a quite a sophisticated manner into your Weebly website.